be reporting back. How's it going, guys? So I've been on vacation, and I've been uh, not doing much. My niece was in town for a while. She's gone now. Um, all my friends are working, so it's kind of annoying. Uh, my friend Kevin and I managed to do some riding on our bikes, our BMX bikes on... I didn't know when I was young that's all I do was BMX bike, freestyle, flatline freestyle. And I recently got a Hoffman George from Kev, my friend Kev, for my birthday last year. And I'm riding it now. I put new tires on and everything. I fixed it all up. But it's a hard bike to flatland on. So it's heavy. It's a ramp bike. It's a mid-school bike, if anyone knows what that means. So here's some footage. You probably saw it on Instagram of me and Kev riding uh, just near the school where, uh, where he lives. So this is called a fire hydrant that I did. And Kev just did a roll back off of this work trucks thing. And we used to do that a lot, and sometimes the landscapers yell, "Let's get the fuck off our thing!" Yeah, 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 fuck you! And then we take off, so it catches. Can <coughs> I look like this? Ah, right, so that was really fun, and it's always the same. Like when we were young, we never had cameras. Never filmed this riding because it didn't exist. Our phones, cell phones, really. And uh, you turn the camera on and you just fail constantly. So I didn't even know he was filming that at first. So, anyways, that was fun. And then today we went to Hawkesbury. We we're gonna go to the states, but it's the end of construction holiday, beginning. I don't know what it is. So we thought it would be like a crazy, oh god, temple scratcher, T a crazy way at the border. So we went to Hawkesbury. It's like a little town outside Quebec, and uh, it was a fucking ghost town. It was crazy. They, have a, they actually have a video store there, and it was like, ah, I didn't think it was that cool, you know? But we went to get gas and windshield washer fluid, and I love going to the, uh, to the depths outside of Quebec, because they have the st stores, you know, the gas station stores outside of Quebec. Depth stands for Depanneur, which is French for corner store. And it's always cool, because they have things that I never saw. Like, look at this. The pop shop? We don't have the pop shop here and like so much beef jerky including this the chubber the ch I never had one never had a chubber in my mouth I like hot rods which I found at Walmart I could show you them but you know what hot rods are they're smaller I put them in the in the freezer and I eat them bad behavior they're full of salt and fat but they're small so you feel less guilty you know I'm really hoping for that second heart. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyhow, so then we went, there was nobody around, it was like a zombie apocalypse. And then we went to the end of this pier and there was like a information station. And uh, it was like an old sawmill. And inside you're gonna see there was a, an old, um, an old uh, phone booth. It was like two doors, all wood, crazy. This crazy butterfly art. And then I went upstairs and you look out, and there's like all this artwork in front, it's pretty weird. And some other stuff. So I'm just going to show you that real quick and I'll uh, wrap this video because uh, it takes six hours to upload videos from my stupid computer. I don't know. i got to check out my internet. And go. You're in this place. <clears throat> Cafe, toilets, and information. we got all kinds of information and they're advertising the toilets as well. It's a Very cool old place. Birds. Huh? Look at the birds. Oh, God. Out. That's funny. That's crazy. Yeah. It's really old sawmill town. It's really cool. Now look at this door. Look at the hinges on this fucking door. It's crazy. Wait, they see the inside. Logging lots. Logging lots. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really cool place. It's a cafe. Check out this. It's a phone booth. An old school phone booth. It's really weird. It's the most modern coffee machine in the world.
It's cool. I don't know what the price is, but I have these little things. That like bugs me to have license plate. 225 bucks. Here's the, this thing. So that, that was about it. And then at the end, I saw this pickup truck and I'm like, that would be really handy to put on my bike and stuff. So I talked to the salesman there and uh, I was coming close to buying it, but then it just, it didn't work out. I really wouldn't mind having this pickup truck, honestly. Is that a lot of mileage? No, pretty low. It's mostly just trailered around. Yeah, I like it. It's, uh, it's not bad. It's a Chevy. It's does it come with the fertilizer inside? Yeah, whatever you see comes yeah. with, yeah. What's, what's something like this going for? We're asking two grand, negotiable. Two grand, really? Yeah. What's it uh, run on, diesel? It was actually four, but now it's half off. Half off? Yeah. Why would you have half off? Well. Oh, I get it. Oh, God, it's so stupid. That was Kev's idea. It was really funny. And uh, those are the best videos. You just, like, impulse make a video like that. Anyways, I go out. This video goes out. No one has blue dry. Only blue in Hawkesbury at that crazy SIQ. I showed you before the huge one. Oh yeah, I had this beer. I sent it to Danny. I go, this should be it's a good beer for you. Poke the bear. Don't poke the bear. That's it. I go out. This video goes out. Like and subscribe. It's still daylight out. It's like 9. 8 30. 8 30. Summer's going away fast. It sucks. Anyways, post in the comments if uh, you uh, like those beers. If you have a BMX. If you have a BMX, a cool BMX, I'll buy it off you. I need old school BMXs and parts as well. So when you're thrift shopping around, if you see a BMX, BMX wheels, let me know. I need parts. I want a CW. Not a CW. I want a Dino Pro Comp. You know what that is? Or a Hero Master. Red, red, red. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe and uh, like and hit the bell. I don't even know what that does. That's it. I go out. Oh, God, shut up. Check out this giant bike in front of this house. I really want to go on it, but I think someone's home. Should I risk it? Should I risk it?